Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can save some money um, instead of buying stuff from the Steam store. Uh, so a lot of the time what happens is people will buy games as a gift to give to friends and then those friends don't really want that gift so they try to sell the game and that means that the price of the game kind of degrades. You can buy that a little bit cheaper than the game actually is on the Steam store. Also if a game has ever been on sale or has had a coupon you can buy it at that discounted price. So I want to show you some ways in which you can abuse that to get your Steam games a little bit cheaper. Okay, so one of the major ways in which you can save some money is by using uh, G2A. Now you've probably heard of this before because a whole lot of streamers have been endorsing it and stuff. And I can tell you now it is actually legit. I just hit go over to www.g2a.com uh, and just search for a game that you want or look through here. And just say for example CSGO over here. Uh, people are selling it for $2.67. Just be careful though on G2A because it's not actually G2A that's selling the games, it's uh, kind of a, a marketplace, other people are actually selling games. So you have to look at the re reputation of people like this guy here from Indonesia, $12.67, you don't want to buy from that guy. You probably want to get it from one of these guys who are selling it for uh, a bit more, but you know it's safer because they're 100% with like 1,000 sales, you probably want to buy it from like that guy or that guy up to you. Um, but there is something just to be careful with this. Sometimes you don't always save money because sometimes you have to pay for uh, if your country has activated uh, taxing online online transactions, you have to pay the extra. I think it's probably around ten percent in in most states or countries, whatever you want to call it. It's just sometimes, yeah, you do have to pay the extra ten percent to buy stuff online. Also, sometimes you have PayPal fees if you're using PayPal. Uh, G2A, I found, adds a little bit on. Also, you have to buy, I recommend you buy G2A Shield because if you don't buy it then, and your code doesn't work, then they're not, they're not obliged to help you out. So, yeah, just just be careful with G2A. Sometimes it's not the best deal. It probably, for a game like CSGO, it's not really worth it. But just have a look because for a lot of games, it's a fair bit cheaper. Um, just for example, like right here, it's like what? This guy's selling it for $12.79. <coughs> and over here, it's $15. So you can definitely save some money by using G2A. It, it's definitely worth it. Also, if you Google G2A coupon codes, just, just Google it, you'll find tons and tons of 5% off uh, codes. So if you check out, you can just save a quick 5%. It makes it a little bit of a better deal. I just thought I'd point that out for you. Okay, another way in which you can save some money is by using a site called TFG Outpost or Dota Outpost or CSGO Outpost, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I found this is generally the main way in which people trade their Steam gifts. So if you want to try and get a Steam gift, this is probably the site to go to. Uh, what you want to do is just, once you go onto the site, I'll leave a link in the description, I just go to search over here, go to Steam Inventory. And just an example, type in like Grand Theft Auto is it V. I'm just looking for a GA gift, just over it says gift. And you just kind of scroll through other people, see what they're selling for you, just like read more, read more. 23 CSGO keys, 24 TF2. This guy's a bot, he's selling them. Yeah, he's selling for 24 TF2, which is actually a pretty good deal. I just, I thought I'd give you a bit of an example. Um, so GDA, it was on sale a while ago. It went down to $60, I believe. And have a look at this. So you can actually, on the market right now, you can buy a TF2 key for a supply crate key. I believe it's around $2.48. And this guy wants what, 24 of them. So 24 times by 2.48 means that yeah, to buy from this guy you'll be paying from your Steam wallet, mind you, uh fifty nine fifty two. Which is a pretty good deal when you think about it. Um because for me on the Steam store GDA right now is a lot more than that. It's it's yeah, it's seventy five dollars. So I wouldn't pay seventy five dollars for it because just by using this I can just save fifteen bucks. It's so much more worth it. And that's like under 60, that's cheaper than it's ever been, that's that's really good. So definitely go and check out that. But you should also explore your options, and a lot of the time for indie games, uh, there's not many people selling uh, gifts of them, because who, buy, who buys gifts of indie games that don't really sell very well? 
Um, so instead, you might want to have a look for a coupon. You might have noticed that you get drop coupons all the time, but you usually don't really want the game. So you trade for them. Um, this is probably going to take a little while though, but yeah. Uh, just type in your game, and if there is coupons for that game, you'll, you'll see uh, all the coupons that are there. And some of these coupons I've noticed are uh, you can get drops uh, like 90% off coupons, which are crazy good. Um, and especially if you can't find a gift for the game and you don't want to pay full price, you don't want to wait for sale, coupons can actually be worth it uh, if you just want to trade for them. Okay, so there's one more thing that I kind of just wanted to point out. Uh, and that is that you can use a site called scrap.tf uh, because when you trade for coupons, usually you're not going to be dealing, maybe it's for some team games actually, you're not going to be dealing with uh, keys, you're going to be dealing with refined. Uh, and if you don't understand the TF2 economy, keys are worth a lot more than refined. It's like 15 refined for a key, about it, it varies all the time. But uh, if you just over to the site called scrap.tf, uh, and you just go and log in, and then you can go and bank your keys. And pretty much what that means is that you can trade them your key, it will give you some refined metal, and you can use that refined metal to go and buy the game that you want. And then you can just use the rest of the refined metal to go and buy another game, or you can turn it into vintages or genuines or other stuff that you can just sell back. It's not going to work. Uh, go and sell back uh, to the market. So I just wanted to point that out just in case you don't understand the TF2 economy.